Hi, welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. My name's Kirsten. So this is part two of my floral doodles on the jelly plate put into my concertina journal. So that was just a wee example of what I've already done. So this is just a quick video. Um, this time I'm using alcohol markers. I have downloaded some graphics from Canva that I am using as sort of guides really just so that I'm not overly thinking about what I'm doing and also it's quite good to, to sort of get used to structures of flowers and vases etc sort of the way other people do it it's good practice so I am using the alcohol pens and I have 80 that I got for about 15 pound or something on Amazon between 15 and 20 now, I like these on the jelly plate, but they do dry out your jelly plate. So after I've used them, I tend to go over it with baby oil. And I find that's absolutely fine. So this is a bit of an, you know, shabby chic, vintage looking um, type flower, tablecloth and wallpaper combination. Now, I'm using a variety of greens in here, which when I did the Posca pen one I couldn't do because the blending the post pens don't blend the same and also they're very expensive so I had eight Posca pens cost me more than 80 alcohol markers but you're paying for a different thing so it's it's absolutely fine some of my supplies cost more than others and I want them all anyway even, you know, with the flower heads, I'm able to put in a variety of reds. But on the tablecloth, when I do the roses, I mean, I must have about six different pinks in there and what a difference it makes. So I was really happy with how this turned out. Although, what I found was the vase and the tablecloth, I went over quite a lot, putting in different colours. So overall, there would have been more pigment in those areas. But when I lifted this off with the titanium white, the leaves were quite, they didn't come off as well because I don't think, I think there was only one layer of pigment and it just didn't maybe cling to the paint as well. I'm not sure, but next time I'll probably put more greens in and more leaves, you know, layers just to even it up because you can see here right away, this vase is already kind of at the same layering as the flowers, but then I add more and more and more. So that's my thought for today on the alcohol markers. The other thing is as well is they actually look like their tones are very muted and you need to put a lot on or you need to, like some of the colours just don't show up, but actually they do. See when you pull it off the jelly plate, they do show up. Although I'm wondering, actually, I don't go back to the leaves at all. I wonder if it's the length of time they've been on the, the plate for. That could be another reason why they didn't lift as well. I'm not sure that's likely, but it could be. I don't know. So I'm going over the blue vase with the orange pen so that I get a mixture of um, contrast, but also some more complementary because the blue and orange do mix together and create sort of browns but when I go to use that again I should have scribbled it off after I used it because the blue alcohol link is now on the nib of the orange pen but I just scribble it and it'll be fine so this is the start of the roses One thing I did forget about was when I put in the line to separate the tablecloth from the wallpaper, I forgot that I'd put it down because it's such a light colour and I didn't go back and fix it. So um, I would do that if I had to go back again because I really liked this design. I was quite kind of, oh, the, the couple of wee things that, didn't turn out so well just annoyed me more because it was it was lovely
These are meant to represent leaves. <laughs> the flowers are the realistic part. Although I want the wallpaper and the tablecloth to be very vibrant, they're almost like a, an afterthought. So if they're overly clear and detailed, you know, they are going to detract from the flowers. At the end of the day, the flowers are supposed to be the real element. That's my thought. Anyway, my thought for today. I've had a lot of thoughts for today. In a previous video where I used the Posca pens, I was rambling. I also didn't do any shading under the vase, which I meant to do. But what I have noticed is a lot of the flowers have congregated there. So I think that does help bring a slight bit of darkness to where the shading would be, the shadow would be. So I'm just doing some swirlies, swirly patterns. And I end up putting some yellow dots on. Because I thought, I was distracted by the fact that the alcohol pen colours do look quite muted. But that's because they're on the gel plate. And so I thought, oh, I'll add in a little flash of brightness. And actually, the yellow was very vibrant when I pulled it. I'm not saying I didn't like it. I maybe would have just put on less dots of it. I was going to add a dark colour in and stop myself in time. See, I've put quite a lot on. I think just a wee dash here and there would have been enough. But out of all the pictures I've done so far, this is my favourite. And I, I would try and recreate this one again. I like this um, kind of way of doing more representational art because... It's basically wallpaper, tablecloth, a vase and flowers. So it, they're very simple, but they give you a bit of... Um, you, can, you can create different moods and you can be modern, you can be vintage, um, you can be bright, whatever. So for me, um, I just think that it's going to... It's just going to allow me to try new things and get pretty quick results from it. And also, they really are quite joyful to do. I mean, the flowers and vibrant wallpaper. This makes me think of, like, if you were going to see your granny. That's what this one's like. I'm just turning it over to pull these as well, just because it's in my concertina book. So it's not like just pulling off a single page. And the alcohol markers do really, you know, you don't wait for too long to pull it off. But you'll see here, it's just a bit faded, a bit blurred on the leaves. Apart from that, I really liked it. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you soon and take care. Bye. And thanks very much for watching.